Hello there. All right, so as promised, um, this is going to be a quick video about DREFs and how you can use the referencing to update values in vectors and hash maps and some other sorts of collections um, based on their current value. Okay, so if you don't want to learn about DREFs yet, there's going to be videos in the future just about it. Um, just skip this video, but if you're curious and maybe you want to use this in your project or whatever, just follow along. It's going to be a quick video. To speed things up, I've already created a vector and I've already created a hash map. So a vector just with values 1, 2, 3, and then I print it, and a hash map with values uh, key, key 1, so k1, and value of 1, and the key um, k2 and a value of 2. And then I print. Okay, so pretty basic stuff. Now what I want to do is I want to update every value from this vector plus 1. So this will be 2, this will be 3, and this will be 4. And here I'm displaying vectors and hash maps, but they're really just the same thing. I'm just going to copy and paste once I'm done with vectors to hash maps, and so you see that it works as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to iterate through every value in a mutable reference to v, and then, right now, I'm going to use the dereferencing, which is the star, so you can think of it as kind of a kind of as in the inverse operation to referencing. So I'm going to dereference, and I am going to plus one. Okay. So later I'm going to print it. You'll see that it's updated. So let's run it just so you can see it. Before we had one, two, three, and now we have two, three, four. As promised, I'm just going to copy and paste for hash maps. I'm going to get mutable reference to HM. In here, instead, we're going to have a tuple with a placeholder key and value. And equally, we're going to just dereference value and add plus one. And here, instead, we're going to print HM. Okay, so now if you come here and we cargo run it, we'll see that we get three for K2 and two for K1. This we had seen before already. So yeah, that's how we use uh, dereferencing to update values in hash maps and vectors and some other sort of collections based on their current value. Quick video, hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time.